Hey, please like and comment. And most importantly, subscribe. It's 935. Broke billionaire vlog. R4 Entertainment. P. Diddle on the ones and two. It's going down. Just watch and see. And you'll hear and see things you never heard yourself before. How's one man so lucky? How's one man so blessed? Will never be a vlog like it. True story. Let's go. How the live is friends. The live is family. They say I was blessed to meet so many celebrities. I say so many celebrities were blessed to meet me. It's me. It's close. Yes, I have a lot of stories. But that's not what this about. You about to witness live redemption. Yes, and some of those stories got me living how I am in the present. But watch me unwrap my gift, open the box, and step out into the future. It's me. No. It's the broke billionaire vlog. Welcome to Champ Mountain. Folk being in vlog, what's going on? First of all, let me say, 49ers are the greatest. Welcome to Chap Mountain. From the Himalaya. <laughs> Let's go. Now, everybody has a rifle, like, you know what I'm talking about? So, so let me start off like this today. You know, see, I got my 49ers, that's a big game today. Every 49er game is big for me and my family. Everybody dress out, we dress out, show out, win, lose, tie. You know what I'm saying? We ride with the Niners. I'm such a Niner fan. Got our birth Niner fans. You know what I'm talking about? I made people be Niner fans, not trying to force them. They just saw how I roll with them. You know what I'm talking about? Like, keep it 100. I've been more loyal to them than my, my, my <laughs> women in my life, right? You know what I'm saying? It's not even funny, but it's honest. Uh, so much, I don't tell you, being loyal to people and to a team, good, bad, whatever, you get bonuses that come from it, right? Unexpected bonuses. And when I say that, I just want to give a shout out to my homeboy, g -Net. right? Gary Donaldson, man, it's my brother. He, uh, <laughs> he was the, uh, how can I say it? Founder of, no, I don't say founder. He was the, uh, basically, he paid for everything. You know what I'm talking about? The marijuana kind of gets you throw. I can't think of the word. I know the word, but I can't get it right now. I'm going to pop it in when I do the edits. You know what I'm talking about? But, so, so I'm saying one thing about this vlog, we keep it real. I'm not, it's not always going to be the best verbiage and, and, and vocabulary and, and all that good stuff. Because, you know, talking off the top of my head, sometimes I'll be a little inebriated. So, you know, what I'm saying? but that's how life is. Life ain't always perfect. You know what I'm talking about. So take the good with the bad, the bad with the good, and the love with the hate, and the hate with the love. But I rather love than hate. I hate Whoopi Goldberg. That's what I'm saying, man. I'm home with G Nut, Gary Donaldson, and my my cousin Rick Rock Slick. You know what I'm talking about. We uh, first of all, like I said, I was growing up a cat, right? Fairfield. Stayed on uh, Travis Air Force Base. The way I became a 49er fan is simply as this. I didn't know 49ers was in California when I became a fan of there, right? I became a fan of that first Super Bowl they won. And that was the first football game, complete game I watched as a kid, right? I wasn't into it. Like, I liked to play it, but I wasn't into watching it. So anyway, my, uh, my mom's friend, my mom and a friend named Roger, we should never have to watch the Super Bowl. So he say, as we know, it was a Super Bowl 49ers against the Cincinnati Bengals. Bengals. So he asked me, who am I going for? Which one you want to win? I don't know neither one of them teams. They ain't never seen them. They ain't watching. Like I said, I didn't know nothing. I just so happened. 
picked the 49ers. Right. Long story short, they end up winning the game. Long story short, than that, that's why I'm rocking you right now. From that day, from that day, and they that day I picked them, they won. You can't tell me a fan that rolled harder for their team than me. You know what I'm talking about? Like ninety percent of my pitches is 49ers back in the day. You know what I'm saying? And then now it's about 75, 49ers, uh, the rest goes to Alabama. You know what I mean? Like real talk. I got a little spurts of uh, Golden State. I got to get some more Golden State stuff. But anyway, I said it is. Okay, look. I'm talking. <clears throat> I want to talk to you like my people. Right? I'm talking. But anyway, my cousin Schlick, right? We grew up in Cali together. And he's always been a Raider fan as long as I'm known, right? So we always had that competition where mine is better than yours. My 49 is better than your Raiders. You know what I'm saying? We always had... Time they play each other in the preseason, so we had that to talk about. It. And every once in a while, they play each other in the season. But to us, the biggest game that could be with them two teams is in the Super Bowl. You know what I'm talking about? 49ers against the Raiders, the Super Bowl would be like the biggest game, in my opinion, and I think in their opinion too, right? And I know my team will win, but you know, they have to say the opposite, right? So, anyway, so long story short, me and him come to Alabama, we meet my homeboy G Man. A Raider fan, right? Out here in Alabama. Can't escape these, you know what I'm saying? If I do it around the street, slim. Raider fan. Can't escape him, but it's cool. It's all love. It's all love. I don't, I don't hate him like I used to. Like, we had to accomplish so bad. Like, I know they hated my team, <laughs> and I hated the Raiders. You know what I'm talking about? My gums, because they black. You know, my team had more Super Bowl wins uh, than theirs, so I always it was kind of, you know, have more to talk about. You know what I'm talking about? More to sit on. Like, yay, yay, man, it ain't that serious, man. <laughs> you know, we winning. Now we both ain't winning. I don't know how long, but anyway. So, what happens? My boy G Nut flies. Me, old lady, my son, his brother. His brother, wife, and himself to California buy all of us tickets to go see the 49ers and the Raiders. See, people don't understand how big that now outside of us playing in the Super Bowl, this was the biggest game ever between them two. Big one. Humongous. <laughs> ever. We had talked years and years and years, decades of talking about. My team better than yours, your team, when they play, wap, 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 nigga, and then we had the chance to go see it. That's what life's about, right? There. That's why I appreciate my man. I love you for that. Like, we went to go see it, witnessed it. Three Calm Park, aka Candlestick. You know what I'm talking about? And, man, we had a blast. 49 hours one, of course. This is how it's supposed to be. That's why I always can keep one up on them. Always keep one up on them. Thank you. You know, I got flash. I just got this on because this is why we're at the game. I haven't pulled this out in a while. But this is why we're at the game. So, painted our faces. We did it big now. Painted our faces. <laughs> what? What? We did how it was supposed to be. We walk up in the stadium too. Okay, we get there. Boom, boom. My cousin, like I say, it's just really me, the 49er fan. Me and my old lady. We just, you know. We the 49er fan. Everybody else, they're Raiders. I'm who I'm with. But you at my house, nigga. <laughs> Three Calm Park, baby. What? So we walk in and we go up to the escalators. So we go up the escalators. Raider fan walk up. I mean, 49er fan, I'm sorry. 49er fan walk up. Right to my homeboy G Nut face. Like there. Rah, 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 rah. And my G Nut being G Nut being who G Nut is, and that's why we call him G Nut. He right back at him. Rah, 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 rah. I'm talking about <laughs> the guy about to go there. So I'm looking like I'm a 49er fan, but you touch my homeboy, you know, already know. My cousin looking like, oh, here we go. And then they had it. And then he walked off. I said, yes, it's gonna be a good day. And boy, was it a good day day and it's so funny because that day or that weekend i'm gonna tell you another story it's a flip side of what's going on in my cousin's head because he's kind of going through it because 
he had some personal and business situation that was going wrong elsewhere, right? So, yeah. 49er rated, man, you understand how big that game is. It's not big like that to everybody. But to my loved ones, me and my loved ones, is the biggest. Like I said, I don't think you get bigger as us in the Super Bowl plan. But outside of that, come on, man. And we whoop that. Yeah. He a little spanking. He a honey little spanking. 49ers weren't playing with him, as always. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to shout out my boy G Nut. Had to bring this out for the vlog today. So we're going to whoop Miami today. And then I'm have a vlog about that. But anyway. Yeah. Went to the game. Flew from Montgomery into the Cali. You know what I'm talking about? Went to the game. Then we went to uh, Bubble Gump, Fishman Walk. Been to Fishman Walk several times. Like I said, I'm from California. And there have been a Bubble Gump, Fish. You know, we, you know, we had to celebrate big after the 49er victory. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Been blessed to go to other games, 49er games, Free Farm Park. That's a story to be told. You know what I'm talking about? Like, like I said, man, I, everybody have negative things that happen in life. Negative, negative things you got control of, make bad decisions, and all that. I, I got all of that too. All of that. Problems right now, all of that. But when I see all the good times, the great times, and, and, and like I say, you just go to a game. You get tickets to go to a game. Anybody get tickets to go to the game? But it's this stuff that happens outside of that that makes me different. Cause you probably went to the game, watched the game, got in your car and left, and that don't be my situation, not my choice. It's just brought to me here. Look at this, do this, and I take it. Who say that? And it man. So that's a whole nother story. Uh, when I saw them Fortnite whip on them cow. Nope, nope. I take that back. Cowboys whooped us that game. Damn sure did. I'm going to keep it 100. They whooped us that game. But uh, anyway, let's hold another story. Fuck yeah, Raiders. <laughs> now, I do got to shout my boy Ali. F them Raiders, Ali. And I say that, say, because I think my cousin, my homeboy, g up the same way right now. Like, we don't really trip off each other's team like that. Like, we're not down in each other's team like we didn't i got respect for him now you know what i'm talking about and i i, I root for him now you know what i'm saying Cause i know that's my dude's team you know what i'm saying and i kind of feel like they feel the same way now like we went, went past that and i think that game that we went to kind of sizzled it I, I promise you i really don't remember having too much of a back and forth probably outside of me bragging about how we whooped him uh about it and then now as we have conversations about games is your team looking good with your team you know what I'm saying it's not like yeah my team good we can whoop you it's not like that no more it's, it's just it's, it's common respect I know I love you and I know you love them so I I respect that and, it's, and vice versa so it's crazy how you, you know, do a whole 360 man like I'm talking about, we just give it to each other I'm talking about give it to each other. And it was two against one. Yeah. Right? But I always had the most firepower because we was winning Super Bowls and we were doing all these things. And their team wasn't. So all that raw, raw, it, it, it was just raw, raw. Now I'm coming with facts and, and there's nothing to dispute it. So, you can't say, well, that's just a Super Bowl. Nigga, that's what we're playing. So even though it was more of them, I always had to one up. I'm talking about love the 49ers for that, but I, we went through some dry spells, and I, I'm a ride, I'm still ride. You see me, Debo Samuel socks on. Go hard, B. Go hard. This is pregame fit. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but yeah, man, we that 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 was a beautiful time, man. Like like them say, priceless. Some things are priceless. Like, like I said, my homeboy did all this out of his pocket, right? And even his team lost. I guarantee you, he don't care about that money spent. It was that, what? He was in the environment. You know what I'm talking about? He was tasting it. Yeah, tastes good. Tastes the air. Smelling it. 
Yeah, it just smell, smell good, huh? Feeling it, hearing it, breathing it. You know what I'm talking about? All the stuff you used to argue about and, and what ifs and this, this, and that, thirds and niggas. You know what I mean? Now we here. But I don't get goosebumps right now. Think about that. It was a beautiful time, man. I'm telling you, that's what life's about. Like I'm telling the story right now, I'm getting that feeling again. I got pictures to prove that we was there. They know he was there. Paint it up. You know what I'm talking about? That's how you do it. You're gonna do it, do it. Silently B-I-G B. You know what I'm talking about? Hey. Silently we kill. But yeah, we had a blast, man. It was cool because like I said, even though it got whooped, once we left the game, man. That kind of just went out the window. Now we're embracing the beautiful city of San Francisco. Fishman Wharf. Oh, yeah. We had a good time out there, man. You know what I'm talking about? But, hey, man. Amazing friends. Amazing family. I said that in my intro. All right? I appreciate that type of stuff. I'm talking about on Madden. We're playing against each other. I'm so loyal. It's probably other people. A lot of people, even though they're Raider fans, they Raiders not doing good that year. They play with the team that is good. It might not be their favorite team, but the Patriots is 98, so I'm playing with them. Me, never. How could I? What? I don't give if we was 66, I'm playing with the 49ers. And guess what? When I whoop you with them and that high rank team, it makes it even worse. Yes. Loyal to these cats here, man. My boys now, man, especially my son, Junior. Oh, niggas don't play when it comes on. I love it. Created a monster. <laughs> he, he really got me back into it. With the whole Kaepernick situation, I was kind of, you know what I'm saying, on my political. But uh, I couldn't rob him of that. The same thing I love about the 49 in the game, win, lose. And, you know, and I, I'm talking about you, you pulling up stats. You know, you got more information now, so you pulling up stats and all kinds of stuff, injuries. So he really into it in a, uh, on a technical level, too. And he got me back into it. Like, I can't take him. I know he ain't going to watch no more stuff because of this going on. I ain't going to do that. I'm going to enjoy it like I enjoy it. And he get old enough to make his own political decisions. But he brought me back into it. He brought me back into sports, period. To be honest with you. And, uh, the, the real love of it and watching it again. You know what I mean? That's what, I think that's what kids do. I appreciate that. But Rick Rock, G Nut, I'm still up on you, fellas. Appreciate it. Love you. Hey, homeboy world star Steve. Shot a lot of love for this cat, man. I am no as long as I know my brothers, man. But this dude, oh man, he got me this hat. I want to say I appreciate you. World star, I'm talking about you with a door, nigga. That thing will spark some shit stuff. He was sparking. <laughs> but dude, if you like a uh, a metaphor, if you like a little a little brush fire, a little conversation, they come with some words, put his little verbal uh, lighter fluid on it, and you get a little louder. <laughs> and he pour a little, we walk by, pour a little verbal lighter fluid on the fire. <laughs> Nobody really see it, paying attention, a little alarm fluid coming in. Oh, boy. Just, you know you got a three alarm fire, man. That's too funny, man. The world star. But for entertainment, I love people. That's why we get along. Hey, I do a lot of weird stuff for entertainment. For me. Entertainment for me. And that's what he do for entertainment for him. And it was entertaining to me because I see it coming. And I love it. So, world star Steve, man. But I'm going to tell you something. It really seems that black people don't like other black people. And it's crazy because you know, there's a whole lot of stuff that's going on in the world, but this is a video I recently watched. Uh, these two girls fighting at it like McDonald's. You know what I'm talking about? And just the whole surrounding, like how everybody reacted to that fight. We, we, we really don't like each other. And, it, and it's crazy because we really don't like each other. And I don't understand why not. You know what I'm talking about? Jealous, our music is a lot of our the hip hop music is based on killing, robbing, stunting on people, sleeping with other men, women, 
and you know, like compared to what positive message they put out there, right? You look at all the negative messages they put out there, and what's the positive message they put out there? See, people don't understand why Tupac will always be the goat. You know what I'm saying? They, they been many of the conversations and debates about that. And I'm gonna stand firm on mine. He's the he's the goat. He music has sustenance. Like, these people are just entertainment. They're just saying anything and making a rhyme and you know good beat. Who can't just say anything? It's clever. Don't get me wrong. It's clever. It's talented. But what are you saying? What are you talking about? What really can I gain from that? You know what I'm talking about? If I'm lost and I ask, but what can I gain? What, what can I seek higher knowledge or resources on something? Not through their music. You know what I'm talking about? But Tupac, man, just like it's a, it's a, it's a first. I, I'm a pop fan. And then about two years ago, if that, it hit me. A song I know very well, knew the line, but it never hit me what he was talking about. See, that's the type of music I'm talking about. Like his music, you still can hear stuff that you didn't hear back then, listen to him every day, right? So he says, it's like a sherm how niggas think they learn to fly, right? And I'm from Northern California. You know what I'm saying? Around that, when, when PCP, Angel Dust hit, right? Or was going, I don't know if when it hit, but when it was going bad out there. And the white businessmen and people jumping out of windows. They're getting high off the sherm, jumping out of windows, killing themselves, right? So that's why he said, <laughs> that's why he said what he said. It's like a sherm hide, niggas think they learn to fly. Like that really was happening. It was so bad. And, and people gonna trip on me because I can't even tell you how old I was, but they was arresting the people that was selling it for attempted murder. You know, it wasn't even for like drug possession and it was attempted murder because so many people jumped out of windows. So anyway, I said that, I said that his music has sustenance. That's real. You know what I'm talking about? And he's telling you to try to show if you want to. You might jump out of the window. Hey. Anyway.